In this video, I am testing how well the Apple Watch Series 9 measures blood oxygen levels. I will compare it to a professional oximeter to see if it is accurate as a medical device. I will also compare the Apple Watch blood oxygen readings with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. If you enjoy tests like these on wearable devices, be sure to check out our channel's playlist. Stay tuned to see if the Apple Watch Series 9 can accurately measure blood oxygen levels. Before we begin, let's understand about SpO2. SpO2 stands for Saturation of Peripheral Oxygen, which tells us how much oxygen is in our blood. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many people used oximeters to monitor their oxygen levels. The smartwatch companies are working hard to provide accurate SpO2 readings. Now, let's find out if the Apple Watch Series 9 can do that accurately. First, I will compare the Apple Watch Series 9 with a professional oximeter. I will do this comparison four times, twice on my left wrist and twice on my right hand. I am putting the oximeter on the middle finger of the same hand in which I am wearing the Apple Watch Series 9. This helps us get accurate results at the same time. Let's start testing the SpO2 level. The Apple Watch Series 9 takes about 15 seconds to measure your SpO2 level. After 15 seconds, the results are displayed. In the first test, the Apple Watch showed a SpO2 level of 95% while the oximeter showed 97%. Let's try again. This time, the Apple Watch Series 9 again showed 95% and the oximeter showed 96%. In both tests, there is only 1 or 2 points difference. Now for our final round of testing with the oximeter, I am going to wear the Apple Watch Series 9 on my right hand and place the oximeter on the middle finger of the same hand. Here we go. In the third test, the Apple Watch showed a SpO2 level of 98% while the oximeter initially showed 96% but then it changed to 98% after a moment. We noticed a difference in the SpO2 readings at first but after waiting a bit, they became the same again. Both devices gave identical readings. But, let's do one more test. This time, we got the same results on both devices, which is 97%. So from our test, it's clear that the Apple Watch Series 9 is giving readings very close to what the oximeter provides. This suggests that the watch is doing a good job of accurately measuring SpO2 levels. Now, we are going to compare the Apple Watch Series 9 with the Galaxy Watch 6. I have worn both watches on the same hand and let's start measuring the readings on both watches. In the beginning, I was not getting any readings because the Apple Watch was not in the correct position to measure SpO2. This happened three times but upon retrying, we finally got the results. On the Apple Watch Series 9, we get a reading of 94% while on the Galaxy Watch 6, it is 87%. That's a significant difference of 7%. Let's try it again, just to be sure. This time, on the Apple Watch Series 9, it is 99%. But on the Galaxy Watch 6, it is 97%. That is a 2% difference. It is worth noting that the way you wear the watches on your hand might affect the readings. The Apple Watch Series 9 is positioned slightly above, which may be the reason for the variation in reading between the two watches. What do you think? Let us know in the comments if you have any thoughts on this difference in readings. Now, I am taking a slightly different approach to check if the wearing position affects the reading or not. I am wearing the Apple Watch Series 9 on one hand and the Galaxy Watch 6 on the other hand simultaneously. You can see I have positioned both watches just beside the wrist bone. Let's compare the readings. This time, the readings are almost identical. We got a reading of 100% on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 and 99% on the Apple Watch Series 9. I believe SpO2 readings depend on how we wear the watch. That's it in today's video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching this video.